Today on Redneck Ramblings, we're going to talk about Vanilla Porter from Breckenridge Brewery. Stay tuned. Welcome. On the bar tonight, we have this Vanilla Porter from Breckenridge Brewery. Now I've had this before. I've had a couple things from them. And uh, I'll show you what's on the label. Not a whole lot of information on the label. Um, this is made with dark malts and I think you can see right there. Uh, dark malts with notes of vanilla and they do claim this is made with real vanilla. So um, let's pop the top and uh, Take a look. Let's go for a nice pour here. See what kind of head we get on this. Not too bad. I'm not being gentle with the pour though. Intentionally because I wanted to see what it would do. Got a decent head, not too bad at all. Like I said before though, head's not a, a definite sign whether or not it's a good beer. It is reasonably dark. There you go, look at that transition from the head to the tails. There we go. Mmm. Well, you can smell that vanilla too. Vanilla is very strong in that one. Fit a little bit more in there. Not too much more. Let's have a taste. It's uh, obviously not a light beer. It is a porter. Porters are not my favorites, but uh, there are there are some good beers. Mmm. It's a good beer. Very drinkable. No, uh, no sharp bite to it. Little hops, so it's not. Uh, it doesn't have that real uh, hoppy bite like you might get with an IPA or something, um, which I wouldn't expect with a porter. But vanilla flavor, definitely. You can taste that vanilla. Um, the vanilla does not overpower the beer, so you can actually uh, you can still taste the beer in this. It hasn't. Uh, it isn't so overly done with the vanilla that it lost its uh, essence of being a beer. Mm. Very drinkable. It's another one of these you can sit around and drink three or four of them pretty easily. Which is why I have a second one out. And you can smell the vanilla, but honestly the vanilla is not uh it's not real uh real strong on the nose. You get the vanilla on the uh, the mid of the tongue and on the back of the tongue. That's where you get the vanilla. Yeah, then you get that. You just in the back of the tongue, middle of the tongue, back of the tongue. You get that nice vanilla taste. This one's a thumbs up. I highly recommend it. If you're out there looking for something different, and if they have one of these bad boys, pick up a six pack. Decently priced, not that expensive at all. Not much more than buying regular beer, by the way. And uh, lots of flavor. No sharp bite. Little uh, vanilla essence in there. And uh, it does state that it uses real vanilla. I don't know if I saw that on their website or if I saw it on... Uh, here we go. Um, on the side right here. With real vanilla beans and natural flavors. So they actually did uh, brew it with the vanilla bean, not actually not just uh, keg it with it, which is cool. I like it. It's a thumbs up. Give it a try. Thank you. <laughs>